Global investments in healthcare startup is at its peak due to the major impact made by COVID-19, which is indeed helping the startups to grow. We at MediCircle present to you the healthcare startup series, wherein we are featuring a lot of startups, especially in the healthcare section, which have shined through in this pandemic. Hi, I'm Smita Kumar, and today our guest for the startup talk is Rajat Chen. Rajat is the founder and managing director of Sunfox Technologies. It's a medtech R&D lab focused to develop portable, affordable, minimalistic, frugal uh, medical devices for cardiac healthcare. They have spun them a flagship project that is the smallest, lightest, and most economic, economical uh, ECG because ECG is the most important thing for any cardiac health checkups and diagnosis. So they have created Spandan, which is very small. It is lightweight also. And most importantly, it is cost effective also. It's an, an, uh, Rajat is an incubation manager turned tech runner and has an expertise in technology development and also medical technology, engineering management and postgraduate in uh, computer aided design and uh, computer-aided manufacturing. He has represented India in the World Economic Forum among top 100 global startups and various other international platforms. His efforts for global healthcare solutions have been appreciated by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi himself multiple times on the national TV. So hi, Rajat. Welcome to MediCircle. Uh, hi, Smita. Thank you so much for the warm uh, introduction. Yeah, even uh, it would be like really uh, great to have a felicitated, especially by Sri Narendra Modi. So how did you fe felt, uh, Rajat? It's uh, like uh, uh, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, energetic and, you know, uh, amazing opportunity to, you know, uh, get appreciated, uh, you know, uh, praised by uh, Honorable Prime Minister. So it was yeah, really a uh, great uh, experience. So as you're based out of Rajat uh, in Dehradun, hope uh, Corona is still there and uh, your healthcare startup is also trying to help, especially cardiac patients through your services. So uh, yeah. what is like, what is this, I mean, uh, uh, the effect of uh, Corona there and how are you actually helping out people with the offerings of your company? Okay, uh, so uh, Corona is actually uh, uh, expanding very uh, rapidly here uh, in uh, Uttarakhand. So we are actually uh, trying to reach out all the cardiac patient uh, specifically when they need, you know, the cardiac monitoring facilities and uh, patients who are with the comorbid situations. So we are actually providing these uh, very uh, minimalistic equipment to them uh, so that they can uh, keep an eye on their uh, heart conditions and be in touch, you know, specifically uh, through teleconsultation or any, uh, you know, remote uh, manner uh, with the doctors. So because uh, due to COVID, uh, there is a very, uh, you know, you can say a deficiency of the beds and specifically if there are uh, some non COVID patients and, you know, uh, they want to see the doctors, so they cannot uh, go, uh, you know, uh, to the hospitals. So mm, for that, uh, cardio, uh, cardiac monitoring is actually a very uh, basic and, you know, uh, uh, you can say the preliminary uh, equipment which is required for the cardiac patient to you know get uh, any kind of medications so we're actually uh, reaching out to them and you know helping a lot of patients uh, with you know with the help of uh, leading hospitals here so the self monitoring thing what you have developed for a ecg diagnosis is it able mm -hmm. like the patients are able to take it and like uh, from this yeah. head, i mean from this machine are they able to uh, get their ecgs themselves yeah. So uh, the innovation and the product is uh, called Spandan. So uh, this is just a 12 gram device. Okay, this is so small that you can actually uh, fit it inside a matchbox and uh, is specifically developed uh, for the frontline health applications and also for the uh, self monitoring purpose. So okay. as a huge case, a cardiac patient can monitor themselves, uh, they can, you know, get a commercial grade, uh, you know, a, a full, uh, you know, multi axis ECG, uh, along with, uh, you know, uh, he can also a patient uh, can also you know uh, monitor arrhythmias. He can also convert his phone into a bedside monitor you know uh, using Spandan, and they can also do some you know physiological monitoring and you know different other tests. So everything comes you know in the uh, Spandan application, and uh, so as a huge case a clinic or you know the concept of the uh, neighborhood doctor which we have the family doctor. 
so they can actually provide the electro uh, you know uh, cardiography facilities to all of their patients using spandan in just the you know uh, whenever they need uh, near them secondly a patient can monitor themselves they can diagnose uh, themselves you know uh, being at home and you know uh, the results can be uh, you know shared with the doctor immediately through any platform so it's as simple as you know uh, you're just uh, chatting it with your uh, with your doctor through whatsapp that's it right i'm sure that should be very helpful especially post covid because a lot of patients are complaining of heart complications and heart diseases and to monitor uh the heart activities at home would be really really coming available and uh, uh, accessible with this kind of a device so rajat to begin this uh, like the ibf estimates the indian healthcare industry to be worth uh, 372 billion dollar by 2022 and healthcare is like possibly the most varied sector with startups categorized across telemedicine online pharmacy from personal health health management to fitness and wellness to home health care medical devices there are so many like diagnostics biotech r&d biopharma is there genomics is there which is actually helping lot of uh, cancer patients so in your view how are the indian uh, startups contributing to the economic and social growth of india okay so uh, uh, very good uh, you know uh, insight into question so if you talk about all of the you know uh, various uh, sectors taking from the telemedicine to you know online pharmacy or be it you know home health care or the medical devices company so uh, i think in india uh, you know uh, indian startup uh, startups have you know started uh, you know uh, capturing a big segment of uh, all of these you know uh, uh, domains and the sectors so uh, since i come from the medical device uh, background so uh, if you look at the current market so more than 90% of the medical devices uh, even starting from a thermometer you know uh, the uh, thermal scanners which we have today uh, to the pulse oximeters and you know to the mri machines so most of the machines are the uh, foreign technologies and you know we are importing all of them so uh, in the, uh, and uh, if you look at the post covid era a lot of indian startups are actually uh, coming up uh, with you know the uh home grown solutions and people have also uh, started looking at the uh, you know uh, you can say home grown solutions yes. so uh, this way uh, i see a big uh, disruption uh, coming in the healthcare and the medical device industry uh, with the whole uh, you know home grown startups definitely so but how things have changed uh, rajat post covid because i think as a healthcare entrepreneur you might have experienced Uh, the change in the customers approach especially as mm-hmm. health has become a priority post covid so people are uh, logging to different kind of uh, uh, wearable gadgets and the approach has changed completely post covid so what is your experience so uh, if i talk about my experience uh, pre and post uh, covid era so it has created a you know immense impact on the adoptions you know uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, user behaviors and uh, you know uh, they're actually more comfortable to adopt uh, you know the technologies so for an example somebody uh, uh, is calling me from chennai uh, she said hey uh, my uh, husband has been you know prescribed to go for ecg but all the hospitals are full with covid so can your equipment help so and now you know due to the uh, infection people are actually uh, more interested to uh, you know go for the self monitoring self diagnosis and home health care you know a uh, kind of uh, uh, the equipments and even uh, the services so yeah it is uh, it has been a, a great experience uh, you know you can say in terms of the adoption and there is a uh, you know very less resistance coming from the patient side as well so earlier you have to you know educate them a lot uh, you know about what exactly you are offering and how it can help but since they understand the huge case is now by themselves so you know uh, that has been actually improved a lot and uh, i'm sure it can actually uh, help a uh, patient and uh, as well as hospitals and doctor to reduce unnecessary you know uh, visits of the patients uh, to the uh, doctors and you know uh, to the hospitals so that they can actually utilize best of their productivity definitely i think covid being completely negative but i think this is this has one Uh, at least one positive effect on the patients and the consumers that yes they have started accepting 
uh, mobile consumerism, especially in the case of healthcare, they have been using mobile for a lot of other things, like right from booking a ticket uh, to, I mean, groceries to everything. But yes, for health, it was always not considered the first choice. But I think due to Corona, lot of things have changed and also the customer's approach has changed and has resulted in video consultations and also medical devices like spun them to be used at the home itself. At least it's much, much secure and safe. And if the device is giving the proper results, so how is like the doctor's ex, uh, uh, reactions and how do they expect that if the values are correct or not, what are they uh, saying? Okay. So uh, it's been uh, over four years, uh, we have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, doing a lot of R&D on the product. Okay. So, uh, you know, we are the most, uh, you can say, uh, you know, the noiseless and the stable, you know, trace uh, in the segment. And we are the highest rated, uh, you know, pocket ECG or any of the uh, platform which we are, you know, uh, uh, selling the product. So uh, a lot of doctors and you can say 80% uh, of the users uh, comes from, uh, you know, uh, the clinics and you know uh, they are the general physicians who actually uh, want this product to help their patients uh, in the hour of need so uh, the review is very good and uh, the adaptability again uh, you know uh, is uh, amazing uh, from these uh, these people that that's good so good that your product is getting accepted and it is also actually most needed at such point of time hence as companies for year old but i think it would be most utilized in this corona curve so uh, my uh, last question to you rajat is like how is your product or service shaping the future of indian healthcare benefiting the end user because we are actually healthcare is like a continuum of care and patient is at the center so how is your product especially spandan disrupting this and helping patients access their healthcare records easily okay so uh, there are three different, uh, you know, uh, things which we uh, impact uh, from the end user side. The first thing is, uh, you know, the age of access. Again, we actually bring uh, the solution in very close proximity uh, to the end user. So uh, as of today, a patient has to, uh, you know, uh, go to a hospital or a diagnostic center to get their, you know, uh, cardiac screening or uh, diagnostic done, right? So in the similar way, uh, you see a thermometer being used, uh, you know, at home, we are trying to, you know, we are actually bringing uh, the uh, same, uh, you know, uh, you can say, uh, uh, our solution in the very uh, same manner, uh, very close to the patient, so that they have a very good accessibility at the time of emergency. And, uh, you know, if you look at the current problems, uh, more than, uh, you know, uh, 80% people uh, are actually uh, going to the hospital, you know, uh, after, uh, you know, uh, you can say a, a very uh, delayed uh, time period, right? After having a cardiac uh, abnormality or a chest pain. So uh, we actually help them to reduce having a, you know, a, a irreversible or you can say uh, the comorbid situation, okay? Uh, by early diagnosis and uh, doing the diagnosis at the right time. Secondly, we actually cut down the cost and uh, the time, uh, you know, which a usual patient is spending with the traditional solution. We cut it down to, you know, at least 120th times. Okay. Oh. So uh, if I talk about time, a patient can actually uh, get, uh, get a report uh, on his smartphone, his or her, uh, you know, smartphone within a minute. And uh, this is the, you know, kind of, uh, you know, the time uh, saving, uh, which, you know, a patient uh, can do or an end user can do. On the core side, we actually uh, uh, offer uh, the most economical solution in the segment again. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, as a value added uh, proposition, uh, you have the access, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the, you know, uh, at the time of emergency. So that is the biggest advantage apart from any cost or, you know, anything else. Definitely. So thank you so much, uh, Rajat, for joining us at MediCircle. I really wish that we had such kind of more more devices which are actually so solving three important challenges one is the accessibility because a lot of times a diagnosis is uh, 
impacted, it is delayed due to such things like whatever is happening today. Lot of patients refrain from going to hospitals due to patient, uh, I mean, infections and other things. The second issue it is solving is availability. Like as you said, thermometer is available in everybody's home. And if something like that is available for your cardiac screening, because India is like uh, one of the biggest countries where most of the cardiac patients are there. Because as diabetes, it's like always a diabetes capital and so many patients who have diabetes actually develop um, heart problem later on. And third, I think affordability. I think one uh, thing which is the most important is that has to be a pocket friendly solution so that more and more people are actually inclined to use this solution. So once again, thank you, uh, Rajat, for joining us at MediCircle and briefing us and sh showing, I mean, sharing your experiences about how you developed Spandan and how it is scaling up. All the best. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.